Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Liam Douglas with Liam Photography. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the templates that are built into Luminar AI that make it such a fantastic program. So as you can see, we have some sample images here. And I'm going to go to this first one. This is the uh, Racing Museum in Dawsonville, Georgia. And if I go up here to Templates, you can see... Now, in Luminar, they call their presets templates instead, um, which is fine. I mean, different companies call them different things, but they basically accomplish the same goal. The whole idea is that they will help you make some quick edits to your images to improve them. So let's see here. I'm going to look through, let's see, the essentials. We got close-ups, and then we got scenery. Let's see what we have under scenery. We'll take a look at the clear and sharp. And you can see the changes that it made to the image. Uh, we have fast fix. And then we have uh, pleasing touch. More volume. And you can see the enhancements that it made when you hit more volume. And then simple and clear skies. Now more volume is the one that looks nicest to me. So I think that's the one I'm going to go with for this particular image. All right, the next image, I captured this at the Georgia Guidestones in Elberton, Georgia. And let's go back here and let's try something a little bit different. Let's look down through here and see what we have. Uh, da -da 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 -da, Mother Nature. Hmm. Well, let's take a look. Evening chill. That one looks pretty interesting. Warming sun. And we got bitter cold. Silverback, which is a black and white, instant results, and wild edges. And for this one, I think the instant results looks the best, so that's the one I'm going to go with. All right, for the next image, now these are some of the flowers that I captured at Gibbs Gardens, which is a massive botanical garden in Ball Ground, Georgia. Really nice place to visit. I highly recommend if you get to georgia on vacation or something like that definitely check out gibbs gardens in ball ground georgia so let's go with scenery we'll go back to this one again okay clear and sharp looks pretty good well maybe a little bit too much emphasis on the the flowers themselves a little bit too much detail uh, let's see here more volume simple Clear skies. Now yeah, let's go with simple for this one. All right, so we're going to go with another one here. Now this is more of a close-up shot. And I uh, actually think, yeah, let's see here. Which one do I like better? That's a little bit too much. Fast fix. I will use clear and sharp for this one. Now, if you're enjoying this video and you find it helpful, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so now this is more of an up-close macro shot, and I'm thinking they actually have some uh, for macro. Let me see here. I thought I saw a macro category, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so let's go to nature. There's black and white. Sunny small. Micro World, Distinctive Drops, Best Close-Up, and, and Arctic Atoms. Hmm. I think I'll go with Best Close-Up just because it makes it pop a little more. Now here we have uh, a photo of one of my grandchildren. This is my granddaughter, Callie. And let's see here for this. We're going to go down to uh, Easy Portraits. Let's try that. So we can do High Key, Tack Sharp, Fade, Vignette. And that adds a little vignette around the edges of the image. And then we have Low Key. Uh, but for this one, I think I'm going to go with Tack Sharp. I think that looks the best. Now, the next image we have, this is my grandson, Kendrick, uh, this is Callie's oldest brother. She has two brothers. And let's see here. Let's go to, uh, 
still frame, marquee, a little bit too dark. That one's a little bit too blown out in the back. That one's not bad, but let me see here. Maybe I should go back to, oh, well, let's try experimental, see what we got here. Burned film, no. 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 Now, so I don't like any of those. The experimental collection is not good for this. Let's let's go back to the Easy Portrait collection. And let's see. All right, we'll go to Tack Sharp again, and then we can switch on over to the Edit tab here. And we can do a little bit of... Uh, we can do a little bit of enhancing here. Let me see what I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. No, I don't want to change the composition. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm trying to find uh, where my exposure adjustments are. Portrait and bokeh. Okay, so we got that, and face. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, and then this last image, this one was kind of dreary looking. I shot this on the 4th of July 2020 up in Watkins Glen, New York, and it's a sailboat that's out on the lake, so let's see what we can do with this one. So first of all, we'll go back to templates, and let's try waterscapes. That one looks interesting. The monochrome one will work. Now, even that one looks pretty cool. Dark and rich, soft fix, and deep focus. Hmm. I think I kind of like the way the cold currents looks. I like the blue effect to everything. Um, I think it makes the image stand out just a little bit more. Now, of course, all of this is, you know, up to personal preference. And if I wanted to go a little bit farther with this image being the sky is not great, I could come back here and go to the AI sky replacement. And I could pick a new sky for it. So let's say... Hmm, Maybe one like this. Oh, that looks pretty cool. So yeah, that would be a good finishing touch for this image. I really like that sky. So that is it, basically. That is using the built-in templates in Luminar AI. Luminar is fantastic software. I highly recommend that you check it out. They do offer a free trial period, and I'll put a link in the description so that you can check it out for yourself. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch this video. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on it, share it out, hit the little bell icon so you can be notified when new content drops, and I will see you next time.